Having known that solar power can contribute to huge savings, let us see how it can be implemented. There are two ways solar generation can be utilized. One, off-grid mode and second, on-grid mode. Off-grid setup uses battery to store solar power and are generally deployed as alternative to the grid power. Whereas on-grid systems can be used to save grid power or fuel of your diesel generator. Off-grid setups are similar to inverters we normally use in our homes or offices. It incorporates batteries and grid power is also connected to the input and load is connected to the output of the inverter. We also connect power from solar panels and let us see how it performs in various environments. Let's assume that the load is 1 kilowatt and generation is also 1 kilowatt. Load draws full power from the solar panels. Electrical appliances keep switching on and off. So, in case the load decreases, it draws full power from the solar panel and extra power so generated from the solar panel gets stored in the battery. Now the solar generation also changes with location of the sun in the sky and may be due to cloud in monsoons. So when the load requirement is more than the generation, then extra power is drawn from the battery. In the evening, when the solar generation is zero, complete power is drawn from the battery which is previously charged from solar power during the daytime. It continues to draw power till the present level of discharge of the battery so that you are ready to face outage in the night hours. When battery is discharged to present level, inverter automatically shifts the load to the grid power. The advantage of this off-grid method of connectivity is that it is a good alternative to the grid power. It also provides you solar power even after the sunset. But the disadvantage side is the efficiency of these off-grid systems are lesser than on-grid system. It involves recurring cost of maintenance of the batteries and batteries are not environment friendly. One important point to note is that the entire load power is drawn from the inverter and hence it has a limitation of capacity of generation. Moreover, the system needs to be designed with minimum 15 to 20 percent factor of safety. Solar setup is quite expensive and hence if you design with such a factor of safety you are losing 20 percent of its production throughout the lifetime of the plant which is minimum 20 to 25 years to overcome these problems on-grid systems are designed these systems do not use batteries in any on-grid setup you get grid power which is connected to your distribution panel where the various loads are connected. We install solar inverter with the panel. This inverter gets a sample of grid power and produces power of exact electrical parameters of the grid. The power so generated is directly injected in your local distribution panel. Now with this arrangement in case the load is 1 kilowatt and generation is also 1 kilowatt, the entire power is drawn from the solar. But in practice, generation and load will never, will actually rarely match. Now, in the event load requirement is high, say 1.5 kilowatt, 1 kilowatt will be drawn from solar and balance power requirement is completed from the grid. This is synonymous to this situation. Suppose your factory needs water which is drawn from 4 inch pipeline from utility. Now you make a bore well but you get only say 1 inch water. We shall start using 1 inch from the bore well and balance requirement will be met from 3 inch water from the utility. So the advantage of on-grid systems are 1. It utilizes 
हंड्रेड परसेंट पावर प्रोड्यूस्ड टू देर इज नो मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट ऑफ द बैटरी नाउ इन केस you have net metering facility by your electricity distribution company you can produce 100% power required by you in day time as well as for night time in case you do not have you can design your plant to feed power to minimum load requirement and fluctuations on positive side can be met from the discom power please note that the plant will not inject any power during outage hence it is suitable for urban areas where power is generally available this graph shows dni data for nagpur in india at 21 degrees north latitude and 79 degrees east longitude there will be a drop in solar power production during monsoons for Four months from June to September. Please note: one, active solar power can only be generated for six to eight hours a day. Two, storage of electricity works out expensive. Best is to use solar power in generate and use mode. Three, similar to your batteries, generation capacity of solar panels. keep degrading 1 to 1.5% per year four the entire area of solar panels should remain shadow free from 9 am to 4 pm or your generation will be affected drastically there are some tips for you as a user one solar power setup costs anywhere between 75000 to 1 lakh per kilowatt plus the cost of batteries in case you go in for off grid two solar panels require about 125 to 150 square feet of shadow free area per kilowatt three 1 kilowatt would typically generate 1500 units of power per year in case of on grid and 1200 units for off grid four government of india is presently allowing 80% accelerated depreciation on solar products but we strongly suggest you to check provisions of tax laws applicable to you today You can visit us on www.balgo.co.in or write to us on solar.products@balgo.com. Thank you.